Hello everybody, Brig Abercrombie with Hagloff Incorporated. Today I'd like to talk to you about the use of our increment borer starter with our increment borers. Very simple process. First, I want to show you the use of the increment borer starter, how to assemble it. As you can see with this increment borer starter, it's one piece construction. What we do is we take this red end and slide it outward. It exposes the spring on the starter. What you do, turn it perpendicular to the shaft and it falls right into place. It's almost like putting tent poles together. Now this is ready. As you can see, we've got a stud on the other end or a shaft coming out of the other end of the starter. You see the rod at the other end. So now what we're going to do is just assemble our increment bore. Remove our bore bit. Open the clip on our bore handle. Insert the bit. Close the clip. As you can see on this end of the bore, there is a hole. That hole is where this shaft of the increment bore starter will go. I'll slide it in just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is with this bore, I just use this for leverage and that additional leverage helps me when inserting my bore into the tree. So I go and lean into the tree. What this allows me to do is it allows me to add more force than I would be able to add using only my hands and arms alone and very easily allow this bore to start into the tree. Once it's started, I can lean away from the tree and take my sample free-handed without any problem, take the core. The starter also easily disassembles for easy storage and transportation. Thank you for watching and have a great day.